All right, there's more Dragon Cliff. Let's go beat up some monsters and capitalism. I don't even remember. Well, no, I know exactly what I'm doing. Pretty much just nothing. I was just like farming this area, nothing more. I guess I, I, we should be able to turn on auto adventure and auto advance and it should be fine. All right, good luck. Have fun. I'll see them later. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we can't explore yet. Oh, right. I forgot the music on this game was garbage, so I was listening to random Pokemon remixes. Let's... Honestly, let's go back to that. I was actually kind of enjoying the Pokemon remixes from yesterday. Or do we want to do... do no, no, no. Random Mega Man remixes might be a little bit much for me. I gotta get some, like... I'm not gonna say copyright-free jazz. But, like, I don't know. There's just something about jazz that I really like listening to. Which bothers Shell to no end, because she does not like jazz. Let's see, can we get any vacancies? Yeah, we can get some vacancies. I have no idea what she is saying in the other room. She is saying things. Let's see, so that's... Hmm. We have... Oh, I guess we do have some things I could make. Do I make it for money? Yeah, because we don't we don't actually have any armor to produce uh any armor that we can like really produce here. Right, what's wrong with jazz? I think it's just because it's repetitive or something, or maybe a bit honking. I love like the smoothest jazz that I can get. Like the more loungy the better. Ooh. Some random epic staff. That's good. I I like the idea of these, like, loot-mongering games where you don't actually, like, the loot only kind of tangentially matters. It's nice, it helps, but it's not, like, amazingly useful. And you can kind of just power through just on merit of because you can. Oh, I should probably level up the arcane spell. I just realized my drunkard's not doing nearly as much damage as he possibly could be. Let's see, you're more of a rock and roll person yourself. I've never actually been into rock and roll. Like, I've, I've tried. But there's not a whole lot of rock that, like, has ever appealed to me, unfortunately. Like, I know people get, like, really into the Doom soundtrack or anything like that. And admittedly, that's a little bit more metal, but, like, I can't, I can't even get into that stuff. I... It just doesn't appeal? I don't know. Oh, Royal Noble increases these in a production rate. Uh, let's see, weapon profits. I guess let's get rid of that, because we absolutely want to improve overall qu quantity as much as I can. But yeah, I, I'm much more on, like, really easy listening stuff if I can do it. Hmm. This might actually be too hard for this group. Eh, they seem to be doing okay. The weird goat man is kind of horrifying, though. Eh, they're doing okay. Good luck, I believe in you. Let's see, did they complete the, their last adventure? Yeah, they did. The one problem is actually making progress is a little slower than just running some old mission. I wonder if I can try... Oh, ugh. This is gonna take a while. Uh, I wonder if I can actually go back to some of the earliest areas and just, like, really zip through them just to destroy things. Notice your taste going from classic rock to alt rock lately. I do like... Is it alt rock? I really like, uh... It's not explosions in the sky. I like bands like 65 Days of Static and Maybe She Will. I haven't listened to them that much lately. I have no idea what those even count as, music music wise. Hey, thank you, Mini Murgle, for the two month resub. I was live. But no, I I wonder if to some degree my music habits are a little bit uh, specifically informed by um, video games too, because I I tend to like the more inobtrusive music. And it's harder to find that with certain types. 
But this is all just random garbage, yeah. Random grabbage. Sell it all for $36,000. I will take it. 64,000 gold. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see, I miss being able to sit down for streams, just chilling out and playing some Slime Rancher. That's another game that I should probably play at some point soon. I, I gotta sit down and, and put together my, like, pseudo bucket list of games that I I can play while things are still kind of quiet. Because we've got a little a little while yet before uh, Dragon Quest Builders comes out and destroys my schedule. What is one? Oh, one probably means... Nope, I have no idea. Hmm. What does this mean? There's just random UI elements here, like... Sword! One! Oh, it's probably support versus offensive, maybe? That would probably make sense. Yeah, Slime Rancher is one of those, like, random kind of casual games that I like to just load up randomly every once in a while and have fun with. The only problem with it is, uh... The only immediate problem I have with Slime Ranch is it hasn't changed months much since like last year or the year before that I played it. They just keep adding more variety to it and fit well on the channel. I mean, I've I've done I think like three series on on Slime Rancher at this point. It's just one of those games that I occasionally just load up and have fun with, and then forget about for a while, and then come back later and kind of rinse repeat. Did we? Did we win? Yes, it looks like we did. Okay. Oh, you know what? Practice points. That's what I should be spending here. We got... Did we actually get anything useful from any of those? No, it doesn't. And the one problem is we've got a pretty beefy team, but they're kind of stuck just fighting... kind of tough enemies constantly. So it's not nearly as fast of farming as other things. Gonna run out of energy points. Nah, I'm not. I got buttloads. Or do you mean on the boss fight? That was a potential thing that could have happened, but didn't. I'll turn off Auto Adventure. I'll bring him back and try and chuck him on a really easy thing and see if we can make, like, a stupid amount of money. Anyway, so what is this game? This is Dragon Cliff. It's like Swag and Sorcery if you uh, caught that, like, last month. But it also kind of runs into the same slow business where, like, once you get it up in the difficulty levels, it's, it takes a while to get going. Maybe I just need to actually commit to... What? Wow. They just eliminated him, eliminated him from the universe. Well, that makes this a bit harder. I guess I'll just crash these guys. Yeah, the one problem is my my rogue is instant instant giveable. But yeah, so plays like uh plays like swag and sorcery, plays like uh weapon shop fantasy. It's kind of what I was hoping Holy Potatoes of Weapon Shop was going to be, because I really liked the idea of Holy Potatoes of Weapon Shop. But it never actually had any more gameplay apart from just making weapons and reading funny dialogue. And that was always a bit sad for me, because I was I was really hoping it would have, like, more to it somehow. Okay, so what is he wearing? He's got the epic leather. Maybe... Uh... Yeah, because that even really bo boosts the... Uh... I guess the little leather of holy might is pretty good. 
or Leather of Timeless Nightmares. No, Leather of Timeless Nightmares is probably more th more worthwhile. I was hoping if I get a uh, recipe for one of the E4 armors. Hey, yeah, they're gonna make it. Let's see, maybe get a faster tank. I think I increased his agility. Maybe I didn't. Do we have any more agility rings? Nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah, they got it. What is he wearing ring-wise? Yeah, oh god, he's just got the, the real grabbage thing. I gotta get some better rings. Unfortunately, we're mostly just getting these ones, which are resistance, not speed. And we get a garbage. Oh, furnace has been upgraded, though. And we've completed uh, Dragon's Blood. Well, at least we finished the quest. And I guess, yeah, that's going to take a while. Okay, so let's do adventure. We go back to this one. Same loot, probably easier. Hopefully easier. Let's do this one. Level three gems. That should be okay. And these guys should be able to clear clear it a little bit quicker. Uh, let's see. Another musician. Because, yeah, the higher tier the equipment, the better everything's going to be for me. Okay, and let's just produce swords. We'll just see if I can make any good timeless nightmare equipment. Maybe not. See, music reminds me. Did you ever end up seeing Detective Pikachu? You surprisingly didn't hate it. No, I actually never went. Um, I don't go to mu movies very often. Uh, I'd like to go to more of them, to be honest. Well, that was a hell of a lot faster. But no, I, I don't go to movies nearly as often as I probably would like. It's just, uh... I don't know, it's one of those where I just get distracted, and I'm like, eh, I'll, I'll, let's go to a movie on the next, like, hot day. And then it's just rainy all week, and I'm like, well, never mind. Oh, I wouldn't mind, though. I just gotta, like, not exactly psych myself up to it, but just say, like, yeah, okay, let, let's go out to, uh, let's go out to a movie to next, next week or whatever. So I haven't even seen John Wick. I will probably go see Spider-Man. Doesn't Spider-Man come out, like, this week? I think it does. Uh, let's see. Oh. So I can make ancient swords. I've just got to get more of them. I need one more vengeance, though. Can I make vengeances? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, maybe I'll find more of them here and there. Comes out on the Tuesday for Spider-Man. Okay, it's a couple of days. And John Wick 3 is amazing. Yeah, I knew it was going to be. I love John Wick 2. I thought it was a, a very, like, satisfying movie. I mean, obviously, you still wanted to wring that that one dude's neck, but that's kind of the point of the, uh, point of the movie. Let's see, we still have a couple of these. Get rid of the businessman. It's cutting into my profits a little bit, but the better equipment that I can get, the more I'm going to be able to just, like, power through the game. And my profits were pretty good. Goes up to 2,000% eventually, which is insane. Any of these have ex... Uh, well, I guess I can buy that ring. Yeah, no agility bonuses yet. new blueprints. Yeah, we got the Blessing of Twilight. We might as well make more Leathers of Timeless Nightmares and, like, mush them together so maybe we can give some of my characters good things. I go back to making Storm Bashers. They were good. 
Yeah, let's go back to making Storm Bashers. Now that I know I can get um, ancient ones out of it. Get out of here, refugee. Hello, businessman. Let's see, better than two, not as good as one. One was kind of a weird masterpiece, though, because you were really invested. I think my only investment going into uh, John Wick 3 is hopefully John Wick does not die. Which, I mean, like, that's kind of an invest investment into the plot and story and whatnot. But I wouldn't call it the same. Or even, honestly, that close. All right. Let's try uh, speed hacking this, because this game does get a little on the slow side. It crashed last time. Oh, yeah. So times three speed is actually too fast for this. But no. I, part of it is also, I have like a really, really rad TV now, and so I'd like to kind of get more use out of it. So easy, easy way for me to, to do it is actually just not see, th see things in theaters and like just hang out at night. They don't in John Wick 1, a puppy gets murdered, like why? I, I mean, I totally get why they did it. It is... A, Oh, yeah, they really don't want me to speed hacks this at all. Odd. Because it straight up does actually pull up that, like, saving thing as though I'm, like, quitting. Huh. Love that you'll just blatantly use cheats on games. Makes me happy for some reason. It's because, like... <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe the way to describe it is, like... Maybe it's because I'm just, like, unabashed about it. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna hacks my way through this. It's... It's gonna make this easier on me, on everyone, and... It'll make this so much more watchable. But yeah, this game has an anti-cheat mechanic. I... I'm actually kind of bewildered about that. But yeah, for better or worse, the whole, uh... John Wick, you know, the dog dying in the beginning. That was an immediate emotional hook that's supposed to really, you know, get you. And I think they did pretty, uh, pretty well with it. But you absolutely hated the villain in that, that movie. Wasn't he also the actor for, uh, from like, one of the actors from Game of Thrones? I want to say he was. Okay, we don't need that. Do we get extra profits or do we keep bumping up the... Keep bumping up the, uh... Progress. Nope, none of these are amazing. And what can I batch combine down? Bango! Splamo. I don't even know what equipment I'm rolling around. Okay, so I do have... Wow. Yeah, actually, that ancient axe is pretty dang good. This will probably help a lot. Yeah. Yeah, this will make... This will make a difference. Okay, increases all practice points by quite a bit. Grab that magician... That McGambadambadam. Yeah, Theon Greyjoy in John Wick. That's that's the one. I don't know. I don't watch uh, Game of Thrones that much. Poetry Party. Oh, tracks two adventures. Uh, to visit the inn. Unlocks it. Wonderland Whispers. Heck yeah! I've got, I got money for that. And can continue to make enough money for that. Uh, 
Let's see. So what kind of game is this? I, it's very much like Swag and Sorcery. Precedes it by about a year. But very much in the same vein of town management, grind box, weird whatevers. I don't know how to describe it apart from that. It's an inherently both satisfying and boring game where all you're doing is just kind of managing what your characters do, but the satisfaction of getting those numbers higher. It's like any incremental game, but with an actual like very distinct ending. Oh. Huh. So they get sick of town events. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, the one problem is with games like this, I love them, but there's only a handful of them. Like, honestly, it's this Swag and Sorcery and Weapon Shop Fantasy, and none of them are actually that amazing. They all have kind of their issues. Like, this game, for example, definitely needs, like, multiple adventuring parties. And... I don't like the fact that it's all based on, um, rarity, because you get... You're kind of, like, just cycling things out for the slightly higher rarity version of the same thing. Which isn't terrible, but it, it definitely isn't... Let's see, do we want more practice points in production, or just more practice points in general? Just get the Magician. See what I can level up. But, like, I'd love to see somebody actually really, like, tackle this specific formula someday. And make it into something pretty good. Okay, so he's got a bunch. Critical damage. Skill damage reduces their elemental resistance. Crit damage is increased by 60. Let's do crit damage by 60. We seem okay. We keep getting this guy up to 50, at least until we get some kind of legendary adventure there. What about over here? I'm starting to run out of level... I think I'm out of level 2 characters, and there's only one level 3 left to get rid of. I like this guy, just because the production rate bonus is kind of nice. Okay, and that's probably enough. Batch combine everything down. Continue to batch combine everything down. Batch combine everything down. Okay. Let's turn off Auto Adventure so we can buff these guys up. I bet with these these latest advancements, we can probably send them out and make them wreck some things. Hello. There's the extra agility that I'm looking for. Honestly, to some degree, I'd like to just get more agility rings, but they're not that common. Also going to turn off this event. Or maybe that's the end of it. I'm not sure. Oh, pop that open. We get recipe for a stinger and a moon sword. Oh, I see. So we've already we've already gotten those, so it kinda makes sense. Batch combine. Batch combine. Okay, so let's buff you up. Okay, poetry party is completed, but it doesn't look like it actually got me anything good. Cancel that event. We don't need it anymore. At least not for a little while. Okay. So, I gave him one set of armor. Is this better? Yes. That one's okay. But he's got extra vitality, but honestly, that's not actually that amazing. 
I don't like this song. I don't know why I still have, uh, still listen to it. Okay. Ancient Axe. Way more crit rate. We lose the some crit damage and life on hit. And a lot of mining mastery, which does suck. Probably pay attention. It was this one. Crack gems. Let's see, same deal on this guy. So we should probably extract gems again. Because, yeah, we're using old, old gear. Admittedly, I'm not sure if some of these are actually that good. Like, I don't know if that Storm Basher is amazing. What do you have? You still have that Ancient Axe. It was like, it was okay. That. Let's just sell all of all of these. Let's double check. I think I actually just sold like a really good item, but whatever. Oh wow! I still have this old ass ancient staff. Do I have any others? I have this legendary staff. Yeah, not as interesting in that one. In that one. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, we want to give him that one. So right click does not sell him. Okay, there we go. So next up, what we want to do is probably regem all of these. Okay. So are these all level three? Uh There we go. Get rid of all of the old gems. Some of them might have actually been pretty good. But I'll probably be fine without. Okay. Oh his his is already gemmed up. Hers is not. Damage reflection. Definitely want to grab that. Let's see, turn recovery and strength. Yeah, we also have armor slots. Oh boy. I have not been uh, gemming these guys nearly hard enough. Okay, so he's he's buffed out a hell of a lot more than he used to be. Is that good? No. Intelligence, agility, and poison. Eh. It means I can probably make some legendary silk robes. Too, now that I'm thinking about it. Are you... Okay, what is his crit percent? Jeez, that's actually really high. Note to self, maybe go get some more gems. Okay, so let's go back to him. His ring isn't very good. Of his agility up. He's got the one that makes it hit multiple people. And this guy could probably just use the extra strength. He's got bonus agility. That's all fine. Looks like we've also got some more of that, but later. Okay, gems. I haven't gemmed this guy up at all. Now we gotta just go get more. Or the good stuff. Well, that's okay. Because it looks like, probably with this new setup, we should be able to start progressing here again. 
Because we were kind of stalled for a little while. Auto adventure, auto advance. Let's see if they do well. I mean... Yep, they do a lot more damage. On the plus side, the uh, the rogue's not going to get one shot anymore, which is kind of important. And I think my guys are acting way more often than they were previously, too. I really buffed that agility. Speaking of, wait, what is this? Wow! Holy crap, I did not realize my, my priest had such a high agility. I guess she's the only legendary member of the party, so it kind of makes sense. No, 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 the drunk reader is also legendary. Okay. So, honestly, I'm probably going to save that to see if we can get a better weapon at some point. Do you start producing divine plates like crazy? Might want to. Yep, didn't attract a single interesting person. Researchers, not the good. Slave traders. That's a good slave trader. He's only vaguely better than the refugee, but that's okay, I'll take him. Okay, so is this the boss? Way easier than the last group. Gift of Eternity. Some of these recipes are kind of ridiculously titled. Like, you have gotten the Gift of Eternity, it's like, that... That's not the kind of thing I think you'd generally be able to just find laying around on the ground. I almost kind of wish one of these game uh wish with these games they had a much much slower difficulty curve. Uh but it slowly ramps up into ridiculous. Cuz the one thing it is with this game, I'm not really getting a sense of, like, progression here. I mean, obviously our numbers are going up, but, like, I'm not sure who these people are. And I almost wish the game was linear, kind of like, uh... uh there's a couple of different, uh... Like, linear, incremental games. But, like, it'd be fun if you spent, like, the first five hours fighting, like, you know, goblins, bandits evil enemies here and there, and then eventually it, like, slowly ramps up into you, just, like, putting Cthulhu on farm for, like, tentacle sword nonsense. Yeah, slower curve meaning what? It gets harder earlier or evenly? I, I guess it's kind of one of those where it's like, I guess these enemies do seem like they are appropriately skilled, like they do look a little bit more threatening. Maybe part of it is just like I don't really have a sense of who or what these enemies are. They're just random mooks that my guys are like churning through. It's hard to describe. I guess the easiest way to describe it is, like, in Dungeons & Dragons, you really do spend, like, the first five levels fighting bandits, goblins, hobgoblins. You know, you're not going to go take on a dragon, and if you do, it's a baby dragon. And even then, baby dragons are pretty threatening, plus possibility of fighting mama would be, well, that's usually the point where you're just like, never mind, uh, this is death. Uh, and then, you know, five to ten is where you start... Starting to do, like, more important things. Oh, you so-called people of Heaven Dynasty. Fighting against Heaven's will. Establishing your own Imperial power without the Deity Dragon. I'm going to turn off auto-adventure. I can't. You're no god to us, and your words do not re represent Heaven's will. We only take orders from the Emperor, the Son of Heaven. His Majesty represents the Deity Dragon's will. We never fought against something. Okay, life could be delusional, kids. You're all fascinated by well-crafted powers lies. Helping a gambler tamper tampering mandate of Heaven for his own good. This is a tragedy. Woo! See, this guy is pretty cool looking. His sprite is rad, and he's gone. 
Give up, kids. Mandate of heaven may not be defied. What? And it's gone. Well, we get some ancient axes, though. Cool. Yeah, how would you feel if you had to shuffle between killing enemies and making equipment? So, kill some stuff. Next bunch of enemies is too strong. You have to go back and make better equipment and repeat. That's kind of how it worked in uh, Swag and Sorcery and a couple other things. I'm not necessarily sure if that's always better. Because Swag and Sorcery had a lot more, like, back and forth. And it actually felt less satisfying. Because uh, in this game, I can just turn it on full auto. And I don't even have to think about it. At the same time, when I find a new blueprint in this game, since they're all identical, I just don't care. Because uh, none of them change anything. And I guess part of it is it's really hard to have immediate impact from, like, any one singular decision in an incremental game. Even if it's a faux incremental game. You know, they, they all still end up feeling kind of... Not exactly same-ish, but... And, like, the ancient equipment is, is kind of a nice change of pace, too. Because you can very... You can very easily just... Find, like, a new random weapon, and it's like, okay, that's garbage. But every once in a while, you find one of the, the red... Uh... The red items, and it's like, oh, shoot. That's something I care about now. And I almost wonder if that's actually a bit of a failing on this game's part, because then all other equipment feels meaningless in comparison.